this is my point now. Just imagine you give this guy nukes. And he, he's been begging. You remember he came out and said, oh, we need to, you, we meaning, you know, the guys, uh, my patrons, uh, <laughs> the U.S. and the U.K. and all the people giving me billions of dollars in weapons. We need to strike Russia before they strike us. And he meant nuclear strike. And then, you know, it was so, he sounded so batshit crazy. His spokesperson had to come out and walk it back and say, oh, no, 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 no. Hey, he, he wasn't talking about nuclear weapons. He was talking about, um, you know, those sanctions. Like as if they had not sanctioned Russia into obl oblivion already. You have to remember something. Wars have started over far less. The, it, it, it's, a, it's a fucking miracle that no nukes have been used until now. I'm, I'm not kidding, man. And I pray to God that this never happens. I pray to God. They need to quit this crap, both sides, and sit at a fucking table like adults and work it out. Even the Germans. Even the Germans, with all their military might, what happened in the end? They had to sit down. Well, this is World War One in that train carriage and sign a fucking armistice. And, you know, these are the worst wars in human history, World War One, World War Two and the Cold War. Right. So, I mean, even after the bloodiest wars, you have to sit down and, and, and talk. You have to do diplomacy. So why don't we avoid killing each other? Why don't we avoid nuclear catastrophe and just get to the diplomacy part? Because we have to get there anyway. These countries that are sending weapons to Ukraine, I understand. Yes, giving weapons is is considered you know, aid and defense, but not this, not this much, man. not with Russia. You, you don't, this is not a game. Okay. These are not toys. One little mistake, one wrong turn, one idiot. And, and you could just destroy the whole planet. There are many times during the cold war where the United States and the Russians almost nuked one another because they thought they, they thought there were nuclear missiles incoming. There's an infamous example. There was a, a Russian radar uh, analyst who was sitting at his desk and, you know, he's staring at it and he, he sees what he thinks are nuclear missiles. This guy's sitting there and he thought the Americans had fired nuclear missiles at Russia. And <laughs> when that happens, God forbid, you have to act immediately. And thank God, thank God he did not um, uh, and, and, and his superiors did not fire nuclear missiles in response because there were no nukes coming. It was just a malfunction, and I, I, I want to say human error, but actually it's the opposite. That guy uh, <laughs> uh, used his brains. There was no error on the country. This is a very, very, very delicate situation, and, and Biden himself, you don't have to take my word for it, Biden himself, the U.S. president, is coming and saying this is the closest we've been to nuclear war since 1962. Okay, so why are you making this worse? I, I'm not saying you have to like Russia or accept what Russia's doing, but there must be an alternative. Uh, for everybody's sake, because this is too important. You can, you can already see the effect that this is having on the rest of the planet in terms of grain supply, fertilizer supply, the price of oil. You know, the whole world is, is in shock. And I know that, you know, we've studied here on this channel, I've, I've, I've made the case to you uh, that this is actually good for the global south because it's, it's plunged, or should we say it's accelerated the process of separation from the west and the rise of the east. And that has very good uh, you know, uh, angles to it, fine, but not at the cost of nuclear war. I don't think anyone in China or Iran or the BRICS countries would come and say, yes, it's good that we are progressing and becoming uh, powerful at the cost of nuclear war. No, 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 no. And I, I know this sounds maybe a, a bit alarmist. I don't think it's alarmist. I think this is, this is extraordinarily and extremely and acutely rational. It's actually the only, only rational thing uh, anyone should be saying right now, which is we have to de-escalate. This is not a game. Uh, this is not a joke. Uh, you know, the Russians themselves, Putin has not threatened to use nukes, but to use them in response, which is completely different and normal. Any, any country would do that. Uh, and, and this already indicates where we are not in a good place right now. There is no low yield nuclear missile. You know, if you think that you can drop a low yield bomb uh, on Russia and they're just going to shut up, I mean, you, you should like, just be quiet. Like, you, shut, shut up. Fuck up. <laughs> don't, don't talk about politics. Seriously, shut the hell up.